Yo, what's everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got war number two in the Vertex Cup Grand Finals, guys, where whoever wins is going to be taking home $2,000. It's Team USA versus Team France. If you missed part one, go back and check it out. It's the last video on my channel where Team France did get the victory 13 to 12 in war number one. Uh, they also had percentage by like five buildings, so super close. So they were up 13 stars to 12. Now, this is a best of two matchup. So today, it's war number two here. So the only way Team USA can win the whole thing, because we add up the scores from war number one and from war number two, is we have to be up by at least one star in this war and more than five buildings in the total destruction. So let's go ahead and see. We're going to watch all 10 attacks, see if Team USA can come back, get the comeback, and beat Team France here or if Team France are going to maintain their lead and get the victory. We're going to start off with Anonymous from Team France coming in on Agent 33's base. He's going to be bringing in a Queen Charge Hybrid in this one. Let's see how he's going to do it. Agent 33 rocking the base with all the closed walls. You don't see that a whole lot in the current meta. Most pros are using the bases with those open corners in order to make it really hard to predict where wall breakers are going to go. He's just going to start off this queen over here on the southwest side of the base. Looks like he's going to try to charge for the town hall here with these two wall breakers. Going to use a minion over at 6 o'clock. Some other funneling troops over at 8 to help make the funnel. He tries to pull the CC here with one hog. He does pull two headhunters and three archers. So is he going to go ahead and use that poison? No, he's going to go ahead and use a freeze because he's not sure what else is in that CC. And doesn't want to risk wasting the poison here in case there's some super minions in there because they will mess up your queen real bad if you're not careful. You know, wall break there on that right side archer tower. But where does queen go? She goes left. Uh-oh, he should have wall broke on the left archer tower. And now queen's going to walk the wrong way. She's not going to get this town hall. He tries to react with another wall breaker, but he goes to the inferno tower. Now queen has an expo and a warden tower on her while she fights this lava hound. He's going to use the poison for the pups. And he's going to have to rage that queen up again just to keep her alive here. She's taking a ton of damage. Now Queen will be able to take care of all these pups, keep moving left, but what is he going to do for the Town Hall here? He's going to have to change up the plan on the fly or something. It's obviously not going how he planned. He's going to use all these loons on the left side of the base, trying to keep this Queen alive here, but Queen doesn't pick off that air defense in time, and all the loons are not going to get to the Inferno like I think he kind of wanted. Oh, this is getting messy. He's going to go ahead and pop that Queen ability early, and the Eagle Artillery targets healers because of that. Not sure why he did that. But now he's going to drop the king. Eagle's going to target the king. Queen does get through that single on the left side just in time. She's under her last rage spell here. She's going to stay alive a little bit longer. We're just going to have to hybrid into the town hall here to try and save this. See how much percent we can get. Can he triple? You never know. Hybrid's pretty crazy, so maybe he can. We're going to pop that word ability. We get through the town hall. Miners, hogs are going to move into the core. The king already died. We still got a siege barracks that we're going to drop over at 3 o'clock to help queen is going to go down to the scatter shot and we're going to get a healer switch here you know how op hybrid can be with the healer swap but the scatter shot actually targets the healers and boom they both die nicely done there to the scatter shot on defense road champ moving through the core here with all those miners and hogs but they're getting picked off it doesn't matter how many heals we have two scatter shots hitting miners at the same time is just disaster and those miners were getting absolutely wrecked in the core all the hogs die we still got hogs from the siege barracks it looks like but those miners hitting the bomb tower over on the left side of the base scatter shot just absolutely melts the warden and these hogs they'll be able to get a couple more defenses but not really that many to be honest here they're going to go down relatively quickly as soon as they get in range of that multi-target inferno and there's probably going to be a few traps over here to help annihilate them as well down they go they get the air defense they're going to start making work on that cannon but not quite going to get it down and it's going to be a defense here for team usa to start off the war 77 percent as well that's exactly what we needed to get back in is so let's go ahead and see if team usa can take advantage of that and come in clutch with an early triple here in war number two here we go guys sir longsword gonna be kicking things off for team usa here in war number two if you saw war number one sir longsword did get a triple there in war number one with the super witches and he's back at it again here in war number two with the super witches coming in on anonymous's base he's gonna be starting off with that early warden walk at two then going to zap the inferno the expo and the archer tower there that's behind the warden walk now he's just going to wait for that warden to snipe the air defense and, he, and then he's free to send these super witches into the town hall thanks to that open wall segment on the top side we don't need any wall breakers here 
King's gonna help make the rest of the funnel on the top side. Gonna try to force him to walk into the base here with the witches. And here we go. We're just gonna send all these witches in. Warren's gonna uh, join forces with them. Siege barracks over at 11 o'clock to walk down toward 9. And again, I think we're gonna be putting more normal witches in there just like he did in war number one. But uh-oh, what's happening with this pathing here? Some of the witches are gonna hug this corner here where they can actually reach that archer tower and they pull the CC. Ooh, and the queen and the king make a, a nice funnel on the top side, but uh, too good of a funnel because these witches over on the right, are they gonna go in? They're gonna snipe these super minions. We pop the warren ability to save everybody, jump through the core, but now these super witches are beating a wall on the outside of the base and they have the healers with them. Oh, that's not good. We need the healers in the core. One super witch walks all the way outside the base in combination with those three normal witches that we had in our siege barracks. Queen's making her way through the jump spell in the core, but she doesn't have any healers on her, which could be disaster here. That single target inferno locks onto the super witch on the outside. We honestly probably should have used the freeze spell earlier on that single target inferno to save the super witch and let it switch targets over to skellies. I think if he had done that, that would have been really good value. We're going to rage up. This group on the right that still has two super witches, the healers, and the warden here to try and get through that single target inferno. Queen's really low on HP. Road champ already had to burn her ability. We get through that single, but now that king's gonna kill our queen, and we only have one super witch left alive with the warden here and a wizard. Currently at 80%. I don't know if we're gonna have enough to push through this. At one super witch here. We got an archer and a wizard on the outside. The big boy goes down. Come on, we need to spawn another big boy. There we go. Spawn that big boy. Before the super witch is targeted, but the big boy... Okay, he does pull the aggro of the king. That's nice. We're going to get through the king, but we're going to start running low on time, I think. One super witch and the big boy here. The witch gets out in front. Does it get targeted by the scatter or is the big boy targeted? It looks like the big boy is actually targeted. That's nice. The healers are on the warden, which is absolutely stupid. Come on, healers. Switch to the witch. Please, switch to the witch, healers. Finally, they switch to the witch. Jeez, the healer AI is so dumb sometimes. We're going to try to get through that wall. Wizard is going to help take care of that archer tower, but the other archer tower takes out the wizard. We do get through the wall, but the healers, oh, they're not keeping that super witch alive, and she dies. Rip. Scattershot stays up. I think if we had frozen that inferno tower at 10 o'clock earlier to keep the super witch alive, she could have pushed through a lot of those defenses on the left side, and we would have at least had more percent, if not tripled. But nonetheless, nice try to SLS, and but because of that, the 77% from Team France, and now the 88% from Team USA. Team USA does take the lead on percent in the best of two matchup. Remember, we were only down six buildings after the first war and one star, but we do still have to get a triple here over France to, to uh, catch up on stars. Let's go ahead and see what France can do with their second attack of war number two. Here you go, guys. Lenade coming in on my base. With the Zap Lalo, let's see what he's gonna do. Let's see what he's gonna do here on my base. Lenade, we normally see bringing in a hybrid, but he's coming in with the Zap Lalo today. He's just one of those guys that can use everything, apparently. Let's see if he can get a triple with the Zap Lalo today. What is he gonna zap? He's got five zaps and a poison. He's gonna zap the scatter shot, the air sweeper, and the expo over here next to the town hall. Still has yet to drop the quake. There he goes. He drops it so that he also damages the multi-target inferno. To start with that king, he dropped him on the cannon and funnels the top side with loons. Looks like he wants the king to walk down toward nine o'clock. Okay. Ice golem going in for that air defense. So it looks like he's gonna try to suey for the eagle and the multi. There's a skelly trap though. Is that gonna pull his king? Ooh, it is. He pulls his king up and even further up. Ooh, king's gonna walk the wrong way. It could be good for us on defense. We're gonna fight that road champ. The ice golem pops, freezes the scatter shot and the road champ. King is definitely gonna walk the wrong way now. RC is gonna have to pop her ability. It's the wizard tower. It hits the multi. Oh, don't tell me she gets the multi. Don't tell me she gets the multi. She needs one shot. Oh my gosh, that was so lucky. And he's gonna use the other ice golem and the queen on the top side. He's adjusting the plan on the fly here. King went the wrong way. We're gonna wall break to that air defense. Oh, don't tell me he gets the town hall. We're going to poison the clan castle troops nice and early here. Queen's going to walk in toward the top side. King funnels the outside. It's mass headhunter CC. Oh, I wish I had put a hound in here now that I know that Queen's going to fight the CC. And the town hall activates. Oh, if I had a hound in there, she wouldn't have gotten the town hall. But now he changes the plan on the fly. Sui's the other side because King walks the wrong way. And he gets the town hall. 
That's actually crazy good value here for Linade. Nice adjustment on the fly. We still have a headhunter that he has to worry about. Just start with the stone slammer to distract the headhunter. A couple of minions in, and then start the Lala from the top side here so he doesn't have to fight a sweeper. Okay. How good is Linade's Lalo going to be today? Let's see. Second Hound coming in from 4 o'clock. Going to work its way across the base here. There's a single target Inferno there that's going to start melting Hounds. A third Hound as well. Test the farm on the back end. Still has the Queen to worry about. His Stone Slammer pops. Dragon's going to get locked on to the Barbarian King. There's ground Expos in the core. That's not going to do anything to his Dragon, unfortunately. Three Red Bombs pop, and he pops the Warren ability at the perfect time. Oh my gosh, Linade. What a nice Warden ability there. We're going to haste through the back end. We still got two Freezes. He's got four Loons for the Teslas on the backside as well. That Queen killed a bunch of Loons in the core, but that Dragon's still alive at basically full health. Going to kill the King and then we'll work its way down toward the enemy Queen. We got so many Balloons here. Are we going to try to freeze the Queen? We're going to freeze the Sweeper. Miss the Queen. The Queen's just popping off on Loons. Now we're going to try to freeze everything. And miss the Queen again. That's okay. But the Pups kill the Queen. Oh. It's a triple for Team France. Linate. Wow. What a recovery. The Sui. The beginning of the Sui did not go to plan whatsoever. The King walked the wrong way completely. It looked like he wanted the Sui for the Eagle artillery and the multi. And he changes the plan on the fly there. The Sui's for the Town Hall instead. And it ends up being smashed. Okay. Okay. Linate OP, I guess. That's a triple for Team France. And they take the lead yet again. We need another triple for Team USA to catch back up. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go, guys. The next attack for Team USA is JD9 coming in with the Queen Charge Hybrid. If you saw the first war, you know JD9 tripled in the last war. Looking OP. Let's see if we can get another one. We're going to use an early blimp here for this Inferno Tower. Cannon, air defense. Can we damage the Queen as well? We're going to pull the CC, which is always a bonus. Especially in the meta, guys, where super minions excuse me, are in defensive CCs. It's always nice when you can pull the CC with a blimp, because then the super minions waste their long range shots on the yetis, and then you only need one poison for your queen charge to kill the CC. Instead of having to take two poisons, <clears throat> or if it's an old classic CC like this one, Hound, two Headhunters, you can get away with one poison anyway. He's going to funnel the top side with a yeti here. Queen's going to take out that Hound. Only takes her like 48 months to do it. But eventually she gets through that hound. She's going to work her way up. And I think you can already start to see the plan here. He's going to wall break into that bomb tower. Try to charge the scatter shot, the expo, the enemy queen. Make some nice pathing here. And then he's just going to hybrid into the town hall and hope for the best. He's still got a ton of spells here. He hasn't used any spells except for the poison yet. There goes the wall breaker. It goes to the perfect wall. Breaks open that bomb tower. Queen's going to be able to work her way over here now. She gets the bomb tower. We're going to rage her up soon. Because that Scattershot Expo Warden does a lot of damage. Use a Coco Loon. We're pretty much free to start the hybrid whenever we want now. Come on, JD9. Don't wait too long. Should go ahead and start that hybrid now while the defenses are tanked. Going to rage up that queen again. She's going to fight the enemy queen here. We're going to start the king on the top side to walk around the base. And we're going to send the hybrid here. Ooh, he pops that queen ability manually. I don't think that was needed. And the eagle targets the healers because of that, but hopefully the eagle switches targets off of the healers. We need those healers to stay alive, and it does. It switches over to miners. Okay, we still haven't used any heals. King popped his ability. Hopefully fight the enemy king with that help of that headhunter soon. The headhunter dies, but we got one more. Ops the warren ability over the town hall. Heals through into the scatter shot as well. The headhunters unfortunately died. Queen, hmm, queen is still alive here, beaten on a wall. Excuse me, I had a hiccup there. Now we got one more heal that we're going to use into this bomb tower and uh, inferno tower. The eagle artillery targeted our row of champs, so we had to pop her ability early. We got a rage and a freeze. Probably going to use it on the queen here to make sure she pulls through all these defenses on the bottom side. Rage up that queen. We need that freeze. We need that freeze. She doesn't have her ability. Perfectly timed freeze. Hybrid troops pathing through all the defenses on the bottom side. Guys, this is crushed. JD9 coming through when we need him yet again. He gets a triple this time with the hybrid. This guy can do anything as well. So many hybrid troops alive. Luckily, we also have a wizard over at 9 o'clock that he saved in case the miners skip some buildings, and they did. And boom, this base is smashed. JD9 getting that OP triple, which means we're tied. Technically, Team USA in the lead in war number two. But if we take uh, the stars from war number one into effect, it was 13 12 in war number one. We're still behind one star. We need another triple and a defense to catch back up. See what Team France can do with their next hit here. 
Here we are, the next attack for Team France coming in on JD9's base. It's going to be another Queen Charge Hybrid, guys. Queen Charge Hybrid might just be real popular today. They're going to start with a blimp as well, just like JD9's attack. We're going to blimp one of the Infernos here, pull that CC early. He's even going to poison it right away. Instead of saving the poison for the Queen, drops the Queen down at 6 o'clock. The Headhunters get out of the poison before they die. Was he going to have to freeze? No, he gets away without having to use a freeze. Most of the Headhunters actually did die to the poison. We're going to funnel right, the right side here with a minion. want the Queen to walk left, it looks like. Already used a Coco Loon. Doesn't find any traps there. He's got two Super Wall Breakers. Looks like we're going to try to charge the Eagle Artillery here. Going to have to rage up that Queen soon. Use a Yeti to funnel the outside, and we find a Tesla. There goes a Rage and a Headhunter. Wall Breaker in for the BK platform. Nicely done there. Queen and Headhunter also going to be able to take out that RC. So that first Rage getting a ton of value. Queen gets through both those heroes there. That Headhunter even pops two Spring Traps. Wow. Now we're going to Wall Break again into that Eagle Artillery. Funnel with an Archer where the Yeti left off. There were three Teslas out there that the Yeti actually got. So OP Yeti. Queen goes directly in for that Multi-Target Inferno. And we're going to start this Hybrid over here from the bottom right side. King over here on the top. We don't have a Siege Barracks, but that's okay. We're going to drop an early heal, heal spell for the Miners and the Hogs as they path into that scatter shot. Find a Skelly Trap. King making a nice funnel on the outside. Queen's going to get that Clan Castle to help with the DPS here. She'll also be able to get the Sweeper. We're going to freeze up that Town Hall so it doesn't do too much damage to our Hogs. Our Hogs find a Tornado Trap. We're going to rage up all the troops, pop that Warren ability, pop the Queen ability, get the enemy Queen and these Expos down for the Hybrid. One more heal going into this backside. Rage up the Queen again. She's doing a phenomenal job here. She can't reach that scatter shot. But she's going to actually beat... No, she's not going to beat through a wall. She's going to go around the base. Damage the uh, elixir storage there. And now she's going to beat through a wall and tank the scatter shot for the hybrid. Oh my gosh. That's OP. Still have the RC ability and a free spell. We don't even need that free spell. Oh my gosh. The RC is going to get through all the defense. The scatter shot is still tanked by the Queen. And he can swag that freeze. Damn. It's another triple for Team France. And now they still maintain the lead. Oof. Now we are basically forced to triple on our next attack here. Just to try and keep up here with Team France. They are just on a rampage. That was a nice attack. Here we are, guys. Agent coming in with the next attack for Team USA. You recognize this. Yes, it is indeed the, last, the base that Synth used in the last war as well. That Agent just barely failed on. But we weren't sure if Synth was playing the mind games or not. If he changed the clan castle troops, he changed the traps around to try and bait that same Sui agent did at 9 o'clock last time. So we're like, alright agent, do the same attack. But this time, do the Sui on the other side over at 3 o'clock. And he's going to do it and he's going to execute it here. And let's see if he can get it done. This time, Queen walks to the lower side for the scatter shot instead of the top side. King's going to walk down just like last time. Queen's going to go inside, pop her ability. Get the scatter shot and the enemy RC. This time the king tanks the warden tower for the RC here. And then he's going to walk around, kill the enemy king. We pop that queen ability. She's going to kill the royal champ. And this time she's going to get the sweeper, which is nice. The RC stays at full health because the king tanked the warden. And he's going to kill the enemy king. RC's going to walk around here. Already used her ability. Does she get this expo? She gets stuck on the skelly trap. And oh, again, the expo stays alive. But we're going to go ahead and start the lalo nice and early here. Not going to wait this time. What's in the clan castle? This time it is super minions and not mass headhunters. So he did change the clan castle troops. We're going to use the warden here at 130. Watch out for those headhunters going for the warden. We need to zap them. Boom. He zaps two of them and has to freeze the other one so the pups can take it out. Pop that warden ability. Haste into the town hall. Hopefully the town hall goes down before the warden ability expires. Boom, perfect timing. We got some loons going in the core. Stone Slammer over at 10 o'clock to hopefully tank that scatter shot. We're going to freeze the queen and the ground expo here as we send in a couple headhunters, but I think the headhunters got sniped. Uh-oh, we're going to have to break open that Stone Slammer manually so that way the dragon can take out the queen before she shoots all of our loons. She already killed our warden, so the warden's dead. We freeze the scatter shot. Dragon killed the queen. Oh, this is going to be close. The expo is still alive. The archer tower, we need to get it down at 9 o'clock. The loons do get it. The dragon's low. Come on, get the expo. Get the expo. Oh, 1 HP dragon. 1 HP expo. Boom. The dragon wins and then dies to a red bomb. Whew. Wow, we got two loons alive. Do we have enough time for cleanup? 
I think we do. We're gonna have it. We're gonna get it. It's gonna be a triple for Agent. Whew, good thing he didn't fail in this base twice in a row. He was even saying on voice that would have been embarrassing if he did. But he's gonna get this one down. 98% and counting. It's gonna be a triple. Team USA are keeping up with Team France, guys. It's gonna be a close finish here. We get another triple. And now we're tied on triples in this war, war number two. But remember, France got an extra triple in war number one. So we still have to catch up. We need one more triple. We have the percentage lead by a lot, but we're down by a star technically in the best of two. Let's go ahead and see what France can do with their next hit. Synth coming in for Team France here. Again, doing his mass hog attack. He really loves this hit. This time on Sir Longsword's base. And this time, no zap spells. Bringing a poison. He's bringing a rage. He's bringing three heals and three freezes. He even brought two poisons, actually. Gonna start off with a loon over at 430. Okay. A yeti at 1030. A yeti at 9. An ice golem and a wall record. Queen going in. Looks like he wants to sue for the town hall and the clan castle troops and these expos. King going in as well. Where's the road champ? We're going to poison the CC troops. He pops that ram early again just to make sure that town hall is not activated until the king walks up to fight it. The ice, triple ice golem in the CC here. Pops that king ability. It's looking good so far. Queen's going to fight that lava hound now. We still have the road champ. I think he's going to use it with the... He is going to use it with the hogs on the top side. Okay, all the hogs already coming in. Queen hasn't even popped the hound yet. So he's got three heals, three freezes, and a rage for these hogs. We're going to pop that warden ability super early. Rage the hogs as well. Now we got three heals. He's going to heal both groups of hogs here, going into the core and going to the right side. Scattershot. Queen's going to deal with all those lava pups. A few more hogs for the outside buildings here to keep that main group pushing through the core. We got three freezes and a heal. We're already using our third heal on the middle here. We're going to freeze that back in Scattershot. That single target Inferno at 3 o'clock stayed alive, though. We're going to freeze the scatter shot again. Lots of hogs pushing through into the Eagle Artillery Compartment. That RC got targeted by the BK. She's taking a lot of damage. And no more heals. And no more hogs. Lots of bacon there in the core. These hogs are dropping fast. And it's just down to the RC and the Warden. And there's a lot of base left, guys. Ooh, it looks like a defense here. For Team USA. It is indeed. He's going to freeze up that scatter shot again. But really, it's not going to do anything for him. The cannon kills the RC, or no, she stays alive, but the scattershot kills her. He's got a couple of wizards for cleanup, but it's gonna be a defense, and that's exactly what Team USA needed to get back in this war. If we can triple our next attack, we will take the lead here in the best of two before the last round of attack starts. Let's go ahead and see how much percent he can grab here. He does have a super or a sneaky goblin, another wizard, and an archer. He'll be able to grab a few more percentage points. I'm gonna go ahead and times four through it because it does take a while. He'll grab a couple more percentages, but still, Team USA with the big percentage lead, guys. And I mean big percentage lead here now. It's more than like 20 buildings that we're up by. But technically, we're still down a triple. If we can triple our next attack, we're going to be tied on stars and up on percent. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it. Here we are, guys. It's going to be me coming in with the Super Witches. Now, they baited my attack in the first four. Let's see if they can bait it again here in this one. I'm going to be bringing the Super Witches starting off with that early Warden Walk at three. A couple balloons. Get that Archer Tower down. And we're going to be zapping the Expo, the scatter shot, and the Air Defense here. Quake it all right there. Now we're going to wait for this Warden to snipe that Archer Tower before we send in the Super Witches to the Town Hall. Four normal Wall Breakers to bust open that first wall by the Town Hall with the help of a Rage Spell. I'm going to wait for the Warden to start working on this Archer Tower. Then I'm going to drop that first Super Witch. King to walk the south side here with the help of a Wizard. The rest of these Super Witches are going to go down over here. That first one gets targeted by the cannon, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, the cannon will go down relatively quickly. Queen to help here. We're going to send in a test wall breaker, but look at where these big boys are going. Why are they? Oh no, they're going for that elixir storage. And the clan castle troops are pulling over to the right for those big boys. Oh, come on, please go in for the town hall. Please go in for the town hall. All the big boys are walking to the right, and because of that, two of my super witches are going for the RC. Oh my gosh, that's so dumb. <clears throat> we got three super witches in the core. Two super witches walk to the right. I pop the warden ability for everybody. We are going to drop that jump spell there. Probably should have dropped the jump a little bit more to the right to help these super witches catch back up with the others. We're going to use the siege barracks at 730. King and Pekka on the outside are doing a great job at making a funnel here. Find the tornado trap there. Drop the last rage spell in the core. Super witches on the right are getting picked off. They don't have healers to help them. But we are going to get through the scatter shot on the left side. No, it kills one of our super witches. The super witches on the right die because they don't have healers on them. 
And now she's just beating on a wall. I definitely should have dropped that jump further to the right. That would have helped her out a lot. Hogs are going to path through here from the siege barracks. I'm going to drop the road champ to help them. Those hogs are going to get wrecked by the bomb tower here in a second. Queen's going to have to pop her ability. Healers are on the two super witches I still have in the core. Queen pops her ability, gets to the king, gets through an expo on the top side. Road champ and Pekka are making work here on the left side. My warden goes down. Queen's going to go down to the single. We still got two super witches in the core though. Lose a healer to a second air mine. Royal champ gonna have to pop her ability and I'm gonna freeze these cannons to try and keep that royal champ alive as long as possible But I still have three Teslas on the top side to worry about I do have two extra loons that I saved for cleanup We're gonna use those loons on the Teslas to try and tank to keep that royal champ alive I think I dropped those loons perfectly there They do tank the top two Teslas keep the wizards alive and the royal champ But can we get through the single target inferno? Ooh, it's gonna be close royal champ gets to the mortar I'm gonna start working on that wizard tower super witches are walking into the wrong compartment they should have kept beating through this lower wall here they could have taken out the single wizards are gonna get through the archer tower single target inferno locks onto one of my super witches we only got one super witch left 97 percent come on we beat through the wall yes super witch get the inferno oh the skelly trap no we're losing another healer we only got one healer left the big boy dies to the single get through the skelly get through the inferno come on come on yes she gets through the inferno but we run out of time. Hmm. Damn. Time fail. 98%. Oh, that super witch needed like five more seconds. She would have gotten the bomb tower and the cannon. And that's not good for Team USA. We needed that triple that would have given us the lead and the advantage going into the last round of attacks. Yikes. That's unfortunate. Now, guys, there's still one attack each. Okay, technically, Team France are up by one star in the best of two. Team USA, we have percentage by a lot. The last two attacks go in at the same time in this format when we did the live stream. So here in the video, I'm going to show Team USA's attack because everything's going to come down to Team France's attack. Okay, so we're going to go in and watch Team USA's attack first, then Team France's last attack. Here we go. Here we go guys, Nick coming in with the last attack for Team USA. It's going to be another Super Witch attack. We have to triple here. Assuming they two star, we have to triple just to tie on stars. So let's go ahead and see what Nick's going to do. He's going to start with the Warden walk up on the top side. Zap, the single target Inferno on the top there. Quake it as well, get it down. Uh, Warden's going to make a nice funnel. We want to wait for that air defense to go down. And then we're going to send the Super Witches into the Town Hall here. We got seven normal wall breakers to try and bust these Witches in. Warden's going to make a little bit of a funnel here. I'll fast forward through just a little bit of it. Hang on the outside here, and here go the Super Witches. Wall Breakers going in. There's the early rage to help with these Wall Breakers get into that Town Hall compartment. Boom, perfectly done so far. King's going to walk the outside. Super Minions coming out of the CC. Those Wall Breakers honestly might have busted too much. We want the Super, or the super Witches to walk into the Town Hall here. King's walking the outside, Siege Barracks to help him over at 9, pop that Warden ability going into the Town Hall. We do have the Jump Spell, but we don't need it. We got one more Wall Breaker to bust open the core there. Wow, those Raged Up Wall Breakers from Nick are OP. We can save the jump for the back end, using the Road Champ on the left side here to walk in, or that Single Target Inferno. Keep the Super Witches going into the core here. The path thing looks beautiful. Still have a free spell that we can use later on for this Road Champion even. We find the Tornado Trap on the back end. Tesla farm as well for the road champ. Hogs are unfortunately going to the top side, so they're not going to be able to work in combination with the road champion. Is that going to be bad for us? Let's see. Road champion on the bottom side. The eagle is shooting the king, which is nice. So nothing important is getting hit by the eagle artillery. Super witch is getting through the eagle here. There's still a ton of super witches alive. Our queen died. But we still got healers. We still got super witches. We still got a road champ with ability and a free spell. We got to get through the single on the back end and the scatter shot. And we do it with four or five Super Witches all still alive. Single locks on the Road Champ. We're going to use the Freeze here. Perfectly done with the Freeze. He even hits the cannon. Road Champ gets to that single. Super Witches are going to start beating on walls here. They're splitting off in different directions. They're going to all beat on different walls. Road Champ's going to go down to the cannon and the Archer Tower here. We got big boys on the outside. Tanking for these Wizards. They can pick off that cannon and all the trash buildings around the edge of the base. Super Witches are going to beat through a wall here with the help of the Warden. Get through that scattered shot. And it's just going to come down to time, guys. This base is wrecked as long as we have enough time. Big boys on the outside with wizards. Super witches on the inside. We still got five super witches alive. 
Can that one super witch stay alive? He's got healers on her. Yes, she's going to stay alive. All five super witches alive. 97% and counting. 98. And yes, guys, it is going to be a triple for Team USA, which means we caught back up and everything comes down. Team France's last attack. Team USA are up on percent, no matter what. Team France, their only hope of winning the best of two is if they triple their last attack. If they triple, Team France wins. If they don't triple, Team USA wins and gets the $2,000. Let's go and see their last attack. Here we are, guys. The last attack of the war, of the best of two matchup for Team France. This attack determines everything. If Onizuka triples, Team France win the best of two on by a star. If, if Nick defends here, Team USA take the victory on percent over Team France and win the $2,000. Let's see what's going to happen here. Onizuka coming in with this Queen Charge hybrid using the Yeti at 9 o'clock. Queen at 8. Looks like he's going to try to skip the Town Hall and walk to the right. We got three Super Wall Breakers. Land Castle troops get lured by the Queen. We're going to Rage. We're going to Poison. Headhunters and a Lava Hound. He did bring two Poisons, so even if we had Super Minions, it really wouldn't have made a difference here. Queen's going to get through that Lava Hound. She's going to bust it open. It only takes her like four weeks here, but eventually she gets through it. Down go the pups due to the archers here. Queen's going to keep walking down. Looks like we're going to wall break into this multi-target inferno compartment. Does the queen actually go down? Let's see, she does. Okay. She's going to walk down. We got the king to funnel and he finds a Tesla farm. Ooh, and a skelly trap. Does this mess him up? It's a good thing he didn't try to funnel here with a second yeti because it wouldn't have gotten enough value. Queen's going to get that multi down. Gonna pop that king ability to get the rest of this Tesla farm down. Queen's gonna walk inside. Are we gonna wall break again soon? The air defense would mess up the wall breaker pathing. Wizard's gonna work on the air defense. Queen as well. Now we can wall break. Queen's gonna fight the king. Do we rage again? We do. We we freeze the scatter shot and use a headhunter. That queen is hanging on by a thread. We wall break late. And the queen, does she go back around? No. So we got a third wall breaker to get her over here. Oh my gosh, she's super low on HP. We have to pop her ability. We start the hybrid into the town hall. Queen is hanging on by a thread. Oh my gosh, she's almost dead. We freeze the cannon to keep that queen alive. We only brought one heal for this hybrid. We're going to freeze the multi-target inferno to keep the healers alive. That queen is barely alive. We popped the warden ability already. We're going to heal as well going into that scatter shot. Queen wraps around the healers. Are they going to go down? He loses one. He loses two. Oh my gosh, the queen's still alive. The hybrid pathing into the backside of the base. We've uh, used our last poison for the Royal Champion. Eagle Artillery's on our Royal Champion. Queen is staying alive, getting all these defenses down on the backside. Wow, the one heal hybrid. I cannot believe that just worked. His queen was this close to dying like three different times. Oh my gosh, so many hogs alive, so many miners. It's a triple. Rip Team USA. Team France are going to get the triple, and they're going to win the best of two, and they're going to win the $2,000. Holy crap, what a Queen Charge hybrid there from Onizuka. And even with that, Team USA did get the victory in war number two on percent. Like I said, we had the big percentage lead. But because Team France won 13 to 12 in war number one, if you add up the stars from both wars, Team France win on stars 25 to 24 or 26 to 25 actually team france get the victory in the best of two ggs to them they got it done here even though team usa had more total destruction in both wars team france get the victory on stars they win the best of two they win the vertex cup grand finals ggs to them nice try to team usa this tournament was a lot of fun guys shout out to everybody who put this together let me know if you like this video down below guys if you want to see more stuff like this let me know i'll catch you guys in the next one